Kathy's still not feeling that great, but she does feel up to going out and having lunch today. Uh, today is my birthday, so I'm gonna go celebrate with Sean Isla and Bob. We're gonna go to the veggie grill and uh, you know keep the day kind of light. But I have been working this morning on uh, the drawings for the Vola Museum, all the movie car stuff. Currently working, if you didn't recognize what that was, that was the Ninja Turtle van. Still got a couple of more sketches to do before I turn it in on uh, Friday or Monday, somewhere around there. But they're coming out pretty good. Somebody's not happy about not going to lunch. Look at that face. Hello. Where's your truck? Oh, right in front? Yeah. Oh, we should go look at it. Well, we could drive by it. Yeah, I want to see it. Should we, should we, should we want to go over there? Yeah, we got time. All right. Wow. Is this leather? Yeah. Hmm. Fancy. Should Happy birthday. Tell. Thank you. <laughs> Tim is? Let's see how he is. Let's see how the cat Old enough to know better. Not old enough to care. It's you too? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I was 52 yesterday. You would have been right yesterday. <laughs> Guava nectar. <laughs> Along with pokey sticks. Ooh. Which I think that he's looking out. Blueberry pokey sticks. Blueberry pokey sticks. Choco Leibniz minis. From Holland. Wooden shoe. Wooden shoe, she juice, which everybody needs. Oh, I guess because it's Easter, we have no cake. And what's inside? Oh, chocolate and a Mary Jane. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. This is all full all kinds of weird stuff. There's so much stuff in here. Look at my fortune! You gotta open it right now. And in case, in case this fortune doesn't work, I got two! Right on, open it now. I want to see your fortune today. I'm sorry, that was a little stale. It's been there. We've had it for a few months. Today's fortune. But the, but the label's fresh. <laughs> fresh label. You need glasses. That's true. No. Uh, you have a good head for matters of money. Ooh. Oh! Try the other one. <laughs> They're Japanese gooseberries. Gooseberries. They're from Holland. No, these are, are these the very international. These are the Vietnamese ones. Oh yeah, these are from Vietnam. Yeah, the gooseberries. Yeah. This is this is Bob as an egg. <laughs> <laughs> and his balls are inside. We've got what well, looks like playing cards, but I think it's um, cigarettes. Ginger, ginger candies, Silk Road, cucumber with mint soda. That tastes like a falafel. Like a falafel. So awful, it tastes like falafel. And now we got some wrapped things, which are always kind of scary. Hello, pandas. Gotcha. Gotcha. And we have a chocolate bar, which is somebody went to the Japanese store. <laughs> Mentioned oh. black chocolate. So that actually might be good. 
<laughs> uh, yeah. and another Hockey. crazy one. Hockey chocolate banana. Chocolate banana. Oh. <laughs> but guess who's gonna help me eat this today? <laughs> it's like, oh, these are Stroop waffles. Yeah. These are from Germany, I guess. So yeah, yeah, it was a very international. These are actually yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I'm happy. Yeah, Japan was a little weird. Yeah, it's good. You just repeat the band. This is great. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it is and kind of an Easter... And your, um, and your bowl. <laughs> and your, your old bowl. Yeah, and your, your old bowl. bowl. Oh, oh, this is my old bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's not... I, great, I have an extra bowl, but it was already my bowl. <laughs> Don't Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Good morning, people. What is going on today? Well, for me, I'm headed south on PCH, driving the 2018 Volvo S90. This is the Volvo Big Daddy. Uh, today, I decided to go down to Manhattan Beach and Hermosa Beach because those are both beach towns and I have a lot of beach-related books. So I'm gonna poke around down there, uh, show you guys a little bit of that town as well as uh, look for some places that might want to carry the books. And speaking of the Volvo, uh, this particular model is about 400 horse, about 400 and about 472 foot pounds. So quite a bit of torque. It's a gorgeous Swedish ride uh, full of all kinds of really uh, neat doohickeys. Got some wood details that are not wood veneer or you know fake wood. Uh, it's the real deal. Quite the beautiful car. Well, let me show you.
the sun is out I'ma hear you say That you're okay That it took some time To lose the fear But now you're grateful And singing alone Hey, you're singing alone Hey, you're singing alone Hey, we're singing a song Hey, we're singing a song We get it right I have to make an appointment with Kathy because it's not a lot of sales today. You know, I went down to Hermosa Beach and to Manhattan. And, I, you know, I got to say, I think people who have stores don't generally like people just walking off the street and trying to get them to buy certain things. That's something that I'm kind of learning as I go. And it's, uh, it's good to make appointments and things like that. But that's kind of hard, too, when you're trying to sell something. Uh, through make an appointment because they, they don't want to get you on the phone. They don't, you know, there's just a lot of a lot of uh, resistance to those kinds of things. Once you get the stuff out, if the product's really good, then people really like it, and and it's no problem. But I'm going to be more effective uh, on the phone and talking to uh, museums and things like that across the country. Do you know there's 264 maritime museums across the country? That's a lot, and I'm gonna hit them all. I'm gonna, you know, just five a day. But before I go, before I go uh, off into the wild blue vlog yonder, um, I wanna mention something, uh, something that, that has come up uh, recently because my birthday was just yesterday, but it's the, it comes down to the question of age. Um, I am, I am 53. I think I'm 53, 53. And um, the, the interesting thing about that number is that it doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, honestly, it doesn't have any any connotation or, or connection to anything because I, I don't feel any different than I felt when I was 16. You know, I, my body may look a little bit different. My hair certainly <laughs> is out of control. I don't really feel any different, honestly, uh, from my heart. Uh, I, I don't feel like I'm getting older or that... Um, you know, and, and the interesting thing about that is that I talk to a lot of people. I get, a, I got a lot of comments, and I have to say, number one, big thanks to everybody who left uh, comments on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. I got so many. I got hundreds, and it was really a pleasure because you can tell when someone just kind of hits the the, th the the happy birthday button, and when people actually leave a note, and I got I got tons of those. So I'm I'm very grateful, and thank you guys for all of that. Um, it certainly was a, a wonderful birthday, and, and I, I am so grateful that I have all of you out there supporting me with the, the things that we're doing and the, and the fun stuff that we're doing. But I got to say this, is that, you know, there, there's a lot, I got a lot of comments from people saying um, things like, uh, oh, it's a bummer to get old, or it's, um, you know, old guys rule, or, you know, things like that. And I just don't, I don't have any time for that kind of stuff, because that's a mindset. And... Um, there's a point at which you you um, you get older and you get a bit wiser, and uh, it's important to recognize that you're as old as you decide you are. And this is a very important point because uh, people kind of accept the race mind that if, that if you're 50, that's like like halfway to 100, and you're you're getting to be old, or or, or it's just something that I, I don't want to recognize. I, I don't recognize. I, I don't care how old I am, you know, and and. Uh, uh, and and it, I don't allow it to affect me. I, if I want to go jump out of an airplane, or I want to go ride my bike, or I want to go do somersaults with the dogs, I, I'm just going to do that stuff. Now, you may feel like you're getting old, and you you may think that your uh, your body's starting to break down a little bit if you're in your 70s or, or things like that. But I had people telling me that that was happening when when I was 30. That that by the time you're 50, you're going to start feeling aches and pains and all that kind of nonsense and I don't feel any of that stuff and I think the important point is to recognize that you are as old as you decide you are and I just feel like I'm 16 still and um, 
and in many ways my mentality reflects that and I still want to play I still want to have a good time I still want to you know you can tell a lot about a person when they come over to the house here and they stand stiff when the, the dogs come up and and they they don't necessarily want to pet them to other people that get down on the floor and roll around like they're like their kids and it's important to act like a kid it's important to be a kid it's important to to recognize why kids are the way they are and that's a lesson for us it's a lesson for us to to um, to act the part you know if, if you want to be healthy you have to act healthy you have to talk healthy you have to you have to be healthy in your mind have a have a health mindset if you want to be young then you can't talk about old things you can't say oh back in the day it was better or or um, uh, start wearing old guys rule t-shirts I mean come on what are you doing I'm talking to a lot of you guys that, that may be you know uh, approaching 70 things like that is that you know you don't have to accept the fact that uh, or accept the notion or the idea that you're getting older because things have the, the important aspect is what you do in the present in this moment and I want you guys to feel young but in, in order to feel young you have to act young you have to talk young you have to think young you can't do one thing and expect uh, something else to happen. You know, whatever you focus on, whatever you, you put your mindset on, is what you bring into your world. And if you're constantly thinking thoughts of, of age or or your body slipping or your 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 you can't remember, you know, I, I had friends that said, uh, uh, I'm losing my mind, and then over a period of time, over a few years, they got Alzheimer's and they literally lost their minds. It's very important. It's very important that you guys, you know, stay focused and say, you know, this is what I want to achieve and this is the way I need to act in order to achieve that. So stay young with me. As I wrap up the blog today, just, just put out there what it is that you guys want. Put out there that you want to live a healthy, young lifestyle and, and that uh, just allow the universe to move things for you so that that manifests. Okay, that's it folks. Thanks for watching. Peace out.